All right, folks, welcome back. Time now is 743. Juneteenth, of course, is remembering when the last slaves here in the U.S. learned that they were free. And of course, people here in Southwest Virginia are honoring the day this weekend. So joining us live now is Mr. Fred Miller, Adam Miller, and the, the niece, Courtney Tucker, at the Sharswood Manor in Gretna this morning. Look at the happy family. How y'all doing? Doing good. Thank you. Good, good, good. So talk to us. This is the second year that we're hosting a Juneteenth uh, event. Mr. Fred Miller, talk to us about that. Yeah, um, here in, uh, in Gretna, Virginia, we're celebrating our second annual Juneteenth uh, National Independence Day. Um, here at Charleswood, what was used, it used to be a plantation um, back in the 1800s, of course, and I uh, purchased this place. And um, since then, I revealed a lot of stuff was revealed to us uh, that included our family. So we kind of wanted to share in that. And we thought it was a very good opportunity for people to come out to Charleswood and get to know a little bit about America's history. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, Mr. Adam Miller, what can we expect? I mean, obviously, we're going to be doing some tours. I won't be doing those tours. I'll be eating the food. But uh, what can yeah. we expect as far as the food? Yeah, so, of course, the tours. Then we're going to have food vendors, you know, fried fish, hamburgers, fries, funnel cake. Um, we have also craft vendors who are selling food. fried pies. We have a uh, yeah, Mexican yes. food, food truck. We have fr fried ribs and French fries. So a lot of things good and tasty. And and so this is all a fundraiser to help rebuild the slave. We're showing the video. I know y'all can't see, but we're showing the video of the slave quarters behind the house. Is this part of the yeah. fundraiser to help rebuild that, Mr. Fred? It is. All, all proceeds go to support the Charleswood Foundation, which is uh, a foundation I established to restore the uh, enslaved cabin here on the, on the property, as well as the uh, enslaved uh, cemetery that we located not too far away. Miss Tucker, you are the niece. How do you feel about having this event? Um, <laughs> how do you feel having the event there? Oh, um, I feel good. Blessed. Um, <laughs> excited. Excited, yes. Very excited. How much work goes into getting all of this stuff done? I know you probably are a lot. Oh, somebody eyes just went big. But how much work goes into getting all this done? Oh, much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we set out days on the weekend to come um, clean up. Um, <laughs> We got designated work crews. We got the kids involved. It takes a lot. Yeah, keeping this place up is, man, it's unending. Man. We're always up here doing something. And um, anytime we have a big event like this right here, it just uh, multiplies uh, tenfold in what we have to do. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, we got to go back and talk about the history of the plantation, now a manor. Originally, Mr. Fred, you did not want to buy the, uh, uh, buy the, buy the plantation. <laughs> No, I did not. Um, I didn't know it was a plantation, but I I didn't want to buy this place. Um, I had I had vision envisions on um doing something at another property that I had purchased not too far away. It was um just some bare land. I kind of wanted to build something myself uh, for our family to have gatherings and those type things. And my sister ran apart and ran across this place here, and um, reluctantly I purchased it. It took a little bit, yeah, it took a little bit you know, arm twisting for them to convince me to do it. Um, and uh, once I did make the, uh, the the purchase of it, it was kind of like, um, man, the rest was uh, just a wonderful history. Because a lot of folks don't even realize that eventually you learn that you do have some family members who were on the same property that you once, well, that you now have. Yes, uh, we found out that my great grandmother, Sarah, was enslaved here, born here on the property. Mm -hmm. I should say, um, she was born here and um, it was uh, definitely, it was, it was, man, I'm not, it's been kind of mixed emotions on how I felt about, you know, purchasing the property after, uh, after finding all this stuff out. Um, I'm definitely happy I, um, I have it now so I can do something more positive with it than what was done before. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I want to make sure the, the I want to invite the entire community out here to Sarswood. This is a community uh, place for me now. Um, it's something that I want everyone to come out here and just walk around and, and get a true feeling of what American history, uh, what it was and what it can be. Beautiful. We got 20 seconds, so I got to get you in to say this quick. Tomorrow is the Juneteenth uh, celebration happening from 12, 12 to 6, six at Sharswood in Grundle, Virginia. Beautiful, beautiful. And who got the fried fish? Fried fish going to be out there? Yes. yes. <laughs> that, that'll be one. <laughs> These fried fish will be here. Beautiful, yes. beautiful, beautiful. Mr. Fred Miller, Adam Miller, Miss Courtney Tucker, we do appreciate you all joining us on this Saturday morning. Uh, I look forward to see you all tomorrow. Just make sure you got my plate ready. All right. Please come out. Thank you.